I asked you guys on Instagram, who is your favorite trainer slash coach when it comes to basketball and sports performance? Be honest, don't just say me because it's my story and I'm asking the question, be real. Guys, before we get into this video, and trust me, this is a juicy one, but before we get into this, make sure that you do two things for me right now. Number one, like this video, and number two, leave a comment down below who is your favorite trainer when it comes to sports performance and basketball in general. Also comment jump, J-U-M-P down below in the comment section if you want a free vertical jump training program. But here we go, let's get it. So here's how this video is going to work. I'm going to draw the votes from my Instagram page and we're going to see who the most popular trainer is overall. And if we think about it, the most popular trainer is likely the trainer who has added the most value to your lives. Because oftentimes the people that we like the most are the people who have helped us out the most. And another thing is I'm going to be flashing each trainer's Instagram page on the screen whenever they get a vote. If I were you, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if I were you, I would follow each of these trainers on Instagram. If your goal is to become the best basketball player that you can possibly be or increase your sports performance as much as you possibly can, it only makes sense to follow all the people at the top of the field and absorb all the information that they have to offer. And a lot of the time, many of us trainers say the same thing. So the more times that you hear a certain idea, the more likely you are to take that idea and put it into action to make your own life better. But guys, let's get it. Let's dive in. Let's tally the votes and see who the most popular trainer is overall. The first vote, ladies and gentlemen, is for PJF Performance. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of PJF Performance votes in here. Second vote, PJF Easy. So two votes for Paul Favorite from PJF Performance. Knees over toes guy, Mike G, Devin the Lab, and Just Jamari. All good dudes right there. I'm not too familiar with Mike G, but Devin the Lab, goat on YouTube, goat for basketball. Knees over toes guy, had a couple collab videos with him. Just Jamari, that is my man's right there. Follow him for sure. PJF, so that's PJF Performance with three votes already. PJF, J-Law, Coleman, Ayers, and you. I'm not familiar. I've never seen Coleman Ayers or Ayers. I need to look him up, that's for sure. Me, give me a vote, bro. I got a vote in there. PJF, again, and J-Law B-Ball. J-Law B-Ball, my man's is a left-handed robot, bro. In one in, in one v one bro, you can't stop my man. By any means basketball, PJF performance, Drew Hanlon, and C. Mike Dunn. I just looked, and by any means basketball, and Coleman Ayers, Ayers. Somebody give me some phonics down below in the comment section. You know what phonics are when Nathaniel Morton, Coleman Ayers or Ayers. Somebody give me some phonics so I know how to pronounce this dude's name. But Coleman Ayers or Ayers, by any means basketball is his brand. So if we get any votes for Coleman or by any means basketball, they're going to count into the same category. Drew Hanlon, my man is a goat when it comes to basketball. And see Mike Dunn, I have never seen Mike Dunn. So I'm gonna have to look him up for sure. Nathaniel Morton, hands down. Let me get that. That's two votes. Is that two? PJF is the goat. Agreed. PJF performance and knees over toes guy. Adonis Harrison, he has some great exercises for force production. Gotta tap into him, I don't know who that is either. So I'm about to tap into Adonis Harrison. I like Chris Bernard, his Elite Vertical Academy program was lit, but I haven't tried Vert Elite, but PJF is cool. So we're gonna give a vote to both of them, Chris Bernard and Overtime Athletes. If we get any votes for them, they will be in the same category. And if we get any votes for PJF performance or Paul Favorites, they are in the same category because that's the same person. Paul Favorites, Cal Dietz, Ben Patrick, and you, Hunter, in no order. First vote for Cal Dietz, I'm not gonna lie. Cal Dietz was one of the people who has influenced my programming and my training the most. Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy, same person, so another vote for him. Let me get another vote, come on now. PJF performance for basketball, and it's not even close, bruh. If we're talking about pure power output, then THP strength. PJF and my coach of the Health Institute, I don't know who that is. Colin Castellaw. Costello. I gotta tap into my mans as well. I don't know who that is either. Paul Favorites. Right now, Paul Favorites from PGF Performance is blowing away the competition. My mans, he gives so much value, like I can't even, we can't be mad at him. He is the GOAT. Paul Favorites, he's one of the people who has influenced my training the most as well. So I agree with Paul Favorites. By the way, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my top three because there are three trainers that have been mentioned so far that have influenced my training and my life the most in general. So I'm just gonna put that out there who my top three are as well. PJF, 
Drew Hanlon, PJF. For basketball, DJ Sackman, and for performance, PJF Performance. I don't know who DJ Sackman is, so I'm gonna have to tap into him. I got the feeling there's a lot of BS on the internet and on YouTube, and all honesty, you. Bro, let me get another vote, bro. Come on now. I like PJF Performance and you, but he has more topics covered, I guess, because of his podcast and other stuff. We're giving both of us a vote. I'm One for PJF and one for Nathaniel Morton. Overtime athletes, so another vote for Chris Bernard. PJF Performance, between you and PJF Performance, give us both another vote. Max Schmarzo, that's like a tongue twister. Try to say that, Max Schmarzo. He is, I'm, I'm surprised this was the first vote for him because Max Schmarzo from Strong by Science, he has influenced me a lot as well. I don't know, but I'm doing the ATG program, so probably Ben Patrick or my middle school coach. Middle school coaches be lit. Dane Miller, weightlifting coach. I know who that is from Garage Strength. He's a GOAT as well. Dane Miller with one vote. PJF, you, Jacob Hiller, Coleman Ayers. Jacob Hiller, I think this is his first vote. Paul Favorites in my top three. Well, who's your other two, bruh? PewDiePie. PJF, Drew Hanlon, Tyler Ralph, and DJ Sackman. These are the goats for me, to be honest. Tyler Ralph, is that his first vote? He's a goat as well. Honestly, you, I haven't seen a trainer go so into detail even to make a great free program for his fans. I got y'all. You wanna know why I got you? Because when I was a kid, my mother was broke and I was broke and I didn't know how to earn any money. So I didn't have any money. So I didn't have access to all these programs that all these other people did. I couldn't go to all these basketball camps. So I just had to get it on the blacktop by myself with a flat basketball. Not really, but I've been in your shoes. I understand what it's like. So if you want that free program, once again, comment jump JUMP down below. VF Performance, I don't know who that is. Coach Rock, I don't know who that is either. Micah Lancaster, give my mans a vote. In a random order, I would say you, Paul Favorite, and John Evans. So that's another vote for THP strength. R2B ball slash NBA players themselves. So give my man Ryan Razuki a vote. Paul, bruh, what you thought it was? Chris Brickley, but he don't look athletic. It's you, man. Thanks to you, all I gotta do is do the work. No waste of time figuring out what to do. I got y'all. I'm dead at this one. Probably PJF. Dude's a walking peer reviewed journal. Gotta respect it. Swear to goodness, my man is a peer reviewed. He's a walking research paper. It's you, no cap. Humility and knowledge are both A1. Appreciate it. Jake Tura coming in with a vote. PJF has me mind blown most of the time. Bro, same. All right, guys, so at this point, I didn't think this through. There's way more votes, but I'm not gonna sit here. PJF, 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 Nate Morton. PJF, I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in and tally up all the votes from everybody, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you guys from least votes to the most votes, which I think we all know who that is, Squid Goat favorites. But I'm gonna go tally the votes and then I will come back with the totals overall. 2,000 years later. All right. Guys, that took a long time, not even gonna lie. But the votes are in. I'm gonna go ahead and go from the least votes to the most votes. So the last person I say will have come in first place. They got the most votes out of anybody overall. Tied for eighth place. All of these people got one vote. Jake Turo with one vote. Chris Brickley, R2B Ball, Michael Lancaster, Anthony Hamilton Jr., Coach Rock, VF Performance, who I couldn't even find on Instagram, so I'm not sure that's a real person. PewDiePie coming in with a vote. Yes, I counted it. If PewDiePie trained you for basketball and sports performance, guess what? Your vote is gonna go way, way, way down. Jacob Hiller, Max Schmarzo, Colin Costello, The Health Institute, Cal Dietz, Adonis Harrison, C. Mike Dunn, Mike G, Jess Jamari, all coming in with one vote. And and the middle school coach coming in with one vote. So all of those individuals were tied for eighth place. In seventh place with two votes, we have overtime athletes, Devin the Lab, and John Evans from THP Strength. In sixth place with three votes each, we have Dane Miller, Tyler Ralph, and J-Law B-Ball coming in sixth place. In fifth place with four votes total, we have DJ Sackman. In fourth place with eight votes each, we had Drew Hanlon and Knees Over Toes Guy. They both had eight votes each and that puts them in fourth place. In third place, which actually surprised me because I have not heard of this individual, but if I haven't heard of them, but so many people voted for them, it means that they're probably adding a lot of value to you as viewers to get better at basketball and increase your sports performance. So coming in at third place was Coleman Ayers, Ayers from By Any Means Basketball with 11 votes. That's solid and I definitely gave my man a follow and I'm gonna tap into his content and what he has to offer. In second place, with 30 votes in a very, very, very biased survey is 
Nathaniel Morton, now let me explain something. I am the one who gave this survey. So everybody who voted on this survey follows me on Instagram. So it's a little bit biased because it is my Instagram page and I am the one asking the question. So let's say PGF Performance asked a question, not 30 people are gonna vote for me. Let's say by any means basketball asked a question, not 30 people are gonna vote for me. The reason why so many people voted for me is because it was my Instagram page. So all of the people who are voting tap into my content and they follow me for a reason. So it's a little bit biased, so we can't really say I'm in second place, but for the sake of this video and for the sake of this survey, I got 30 votes, so that puts me in second place. Definitely very biased, but I'll take it. And in first place, blowing everybody else out of the water, he had more than double the amount of votes that I had. I had 30 votes, he had 67 votes. Coming in at first place is your boy, Paul Favorites from PGF Performance, 67 votes, and it just goes to show, my mans is adding so much value to all of you. He's added so much value to me, so there's a reason why he got 67 votes. So this is, let's, we could say this is a popularity contest. This is kind of, this is a dumb survey, but if he got 67 votes, then chances are he's making a lot of people's lives better. He's putting out so much content for everybody else to get better at basketball and at sports performance because there's a reason he got that many votes. So I ain't mad at him. I hope nobody else is mad at him. My man's is a beast. My man's is a goat. My man's is a squid. Follow him on Instagram. Follow all of these individuals on Instagram because like I said earlier, all of us have good ideas and the more that you hear these ideas, the more likely you are to actually take them, take action on these ideas and implement them in your life to make your life better and get better at basketball and increase your sports performance. Anyways, guys, that concludes this survey. Now, very quickly before we go, let me talk about my top three. Who are the top three who have influenced and changed my life the most when it comes to my own training and when it comes to programming for my athletes? Coming in at the third spot is Max Schmarzo. He's the co-founder of Edge University with Paul Fabris, but Max Schmarzo has influenced my life in a crazy way because I tap into Edge University. I study every single day. Every day, I am learning more and more knowledge because I I want to become the best trainer that I can possibly be. And Max Schmarzo has excellent information and he has made a real impact on my life. The second trainer who has influenced my life the most would be your very own PGF Performance. Paul Favorites has influenced my life in a crazy way. I have pretty much every single one of his programs. I buy them so that I can learn from them. I've done multiple reviews on them. I have his ball handling system. I have Fat Don't Fly. I got Speed Code. I got Vert Code. I got Vert Code Elite. I got the Durability Code. I buy all his programs and I sit there and I just, I study it all because I want to learn all the information because he is a walking research paper and I want to learn all that for myself so I can help all of you. But guys, PGF Performance has influenced my life in a wild way, so that puts him as the second person who has personally influenced my life the most when it comes to training. And guys, coming in at number one, the one individual who has influenced my programming, my training, what I do for my athletes the most, who do you think it is? I can guarantee, if unless you've been following me pretty closely, I guarantee you're not gonna guess it. It is Cal Dietz. Cal Dietz has influenced my life in a wild way, and this book right here, Triphasic Training, if you are a trainer, if you are a coach, you need to read this book. He just talks about so much from programming to periodization to the different phases you should put your athletes through, just everything that you need to know as a trainer to train your athletes for sports performance, you can find in this book right here. So I will link this book down below in the description. But Cal Dietz has influenced my life by far the most out of anybody. PGF is probably a close second, but Cal Dietz, I've just learned so much from his teachings, from his knowledge, and from his book in general. So he is number one. But anyways, guys, like I said, follow all these coaches and trainers on Instagram and follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing more of these surveys. So if I ever put out a question in a survey on my store, be on the lookout and make sure you respond if you want your response recorded because I'm gonna be doing many more of these videos. Anyways, like this video, subscribe, comment, jump JMP if you want a free vertical jump training program and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Young beast mode from the East Coast, a young kid with a West Coast feel and I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold, the city made a steel where a lot of Fold, only couple keep it real right Back still keep it real tight Keep two L's just like Cool J My heart's cold as Ice Cube Praying it's a good day I'm at a crossroads But in a good way I got money